I am the president and general manager of Lubbock Electric Company. We were founded in 1944, so that makes us 76 years old. And we're in the same location since 1954 at 1108 34th Street, Lubbock, Texas. The number one customer demographic that we have are the cotton gins. They amount to over 50% of our business. And couple that with we have demographic called Other Ag, which accounts for probably another 30% of the business. So directly, we are dependent on agriculture. So we have built our product offering and our services around the the electrical and the hydraulic uh, compressed air, everything that a operating cotton gin needs to have to, from a utility type product, that's basically what we provide. I really enjoyed the people. The agriculture community is just down to earth, close knit, honest, hard working people. Once you get that team uh, spirit going, it kind of feeds on itself. And so right now we have the best crew we've ever had. And like I say, I'm very proud. We've got about uh, 75 people and I'm, I can't think of one of them that I'm not very proud of. Our, our tie to the cotton gins makes it a natural. Of course, cotton is king here in West Texas. But we also can provide a lot of in-kind donations by minor service calls, whatever around here. We actually uh, replace the parking lot lights at no cost to the museum with LEDs, which Lubbock Electric is known for. If you really want to make a difference in today's Ag Museum, the Children's Literacy Wing, which is also known as AgWorks, is going to be totally interactive. It's going to be aimed at the young people starting probably around four years old and going up through high school even. But it's going to tell the story and the, and the whole story. I mean, it's got farm animals, it's got uh, agricultural implements, it's got irrigation systems. Virtually everything that it takes to bring that product to market, you will, you will find in that. And it will also just be a great resource to spread the word of agriculture. And if we start young people having a, an interest in it, then they're gonna become the next farmers, the next uh, people that work in the allied businesses that support agriculture.